to our dearest professor, Dr. Elsie Ramantra, my dearest classmates, and to my fellow groupmates, good afternoon to each and everyone. Today, we are going to present our research study, Chapter 1. So our research study is all about values education and its implication to guidance and counseling. So this is the proof research title of our first research teacher, who is um, our late Dr. Vector Edivanji. So um, before we proceed to our presentation, I would like to tell you up front that this research is not yet finalized. So this is way too far from perfect. However, we're open for corrections and suggestions that would help our research study. And to start with, I would like to introduce my group mates. First, first we have here Miss Jen Francie Balanay, who will present to you our scope, delimitation, and our review of related literature. Next, we have here Miss April Diget, who will present to you our um, restatement of hypothesis and significance of the study. Also, we have here Mr. Sanvi Mark Buhian, who will present to you our conceptual framework and theoretical background. And yours truly, Judy Crystal Castellon, and I will present our introduction and our statement of the problem. So our research title again is Values Education and its Implication to Guidance and Counseling. So we have here two important concepts. These two concepts are very important in our research. First, we have here Values Education. So we will define this. Values education is to teach universal values like moral values, patience, honesty, and etc. good values to the students. So the purpose of values education is, to, is the development of personality of the student. So it is teach to develop a wholesome personality. Second is guidance and counseling. The purpose of guidance and counseling is to provide emphasis and strength to the educational program. The major goals of um, guidance and counseling are to promote personal growth and to prepare students to become motivated workers and responsible citizens. So, various education is a subject taught in all levels of educational system and guidance counseling on the other hand is a program that helps to strengthen the educational system and I will not be reading our introduction however I will sum up I will just sum up our introduction our introduction Values education and guidance and counseling are somehow related in some ways. Values education, as it is defined, is an essential element of whole person education that aims at fostering students' positive values and attitudes. This is through learning and teaching of various key learning areas or subjects and the provision of relevant learning experiences. Guidance and counseling, on the other hand, is a program that assists students in acquiring the knowledge and skills necessary for healthy development. Guidance and counseling are the educational tools to shape learners and help them succeed. So every school has counselors and counselees. They aim to assist individuals to develop the ability to understand them, solve their own problems, and make appropriate adjustment to their environment. So, the summary of our introduction is here. 
Values education as a subject aims to provide and promote values education at all levels of the educational system. So they have these um, core values. Makabansa, makatao, makakalikasan. And these are taught in all levels of kaning educational system. Guidance and counseling are educational tools to shape learners and help them succeed. This study seeks to know the implication of values, education, and its implication to guidance and counseling. This study will evaluate the problem of what would be effective method to be applied in order to achieve the success of the learner. It also helps us determine the different aspects to be addressed in order to the learners to improve and develop them in a sustainable way. So, our introduction states that states the goal of our research study, which is to determine the implication of values, education, and guidance and counseling. So, although they are different, still we believe that there is um, similarities because values education is a subject. They are different in a way that values education is a subject and guidance is Guidance and counseling is a program. However, their goal is somehow related because values education, uh, values education is to develop learners to have a wholesome personality. While guidance and counseling, counseling is to assist learners. So, this study will seek to know the implication of the subject to the program and at the same time determine the different tools or methods that will help learners to succeed. And next, our statement of the problem. The intent of the study is to determine the implication of values education to guidance and counseling. This study aims to study the learners of San Antonio National High School and some teachers there during the school year 2021 to 2022. So, our survey questionnaire composed of demographic profile of the teachers and of course the learners. Also, we have questions that would help us determine the different factors that could affect values education and guidance and counseling and questions that would lead us to determine the different methods or the different implication of the said subject to the program. So that's our statement of the problem. And next, we have the statement of hypothesis that will be presented to you by my groupmates, Miss Aprilin Digit. Hello, good morning everyone and let us proceed to the statement of hypothesis. But by the way, I am Aprilin Digit and I would like to present to you a statement of hypothesis. Statement of hypothesis, it is a statement that there that introduces a research question and proposes an effective result so i would like to discuss to you the kinds of hypotheses which are the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis in null hypothesis state that is negative statement to support the researchers findings that there is no relationship between two variables that's why we sum up that there is no significant difference between values education as a subject taught in a school and guidance counseling. And then, alternative hypothesis states that a population parameter is smaller or greater or different than the hypothesis or hypothesis rather value in the null hypothesis 
So we sum up that there is a significant difference between values education as a subject taught in school and in guidance and counseling. So what is different the, uh, between null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis? So in statistical hypothesis testing, the null hypothesis of a test always predicts no effect and or no relationship between variables while the alternative hypothesis states your research prediction of an effect or relationship that's it for the statement of hypothesis next the significance of the study this is a written statement that explains why your research was needed and its justification of the importance of your work and impact it has on our research field so it also contribution to new knowledge and how others will benefit from it so this study on the implication of values education on guidance and counseling bears the significance to the following high school learners teachers school heads school administrators parents and researchers so in high school learners this study gives them awareness on the significance of the subject on values education such as personality development and education pagpakatao that they will undertake through their six years in high school and they will also be more aware of the importance of the said subject at the same time be more aware of the connection and of differences of values education and guidance and counseling not only for the awareness of high school learners but this study will also give them enlightenment of this subject matter and also give them on how to value of that subject next is teachers this study shade light to their doubt and also clears a path for them to see the importance of guidance and counseling and its connection to educating learners with values teachers are one of the most uh, important role in education and educating this may enlighten the not, not to compromise that subject especially that this subject help in shaping the learners it also gives the new knowledge on how they will guide their student to the brighter future and then school heads this study will help principal and school head to see the importance of the said subject at the same way the teachers school heads also gain new knowledge and gives them more enlightenment that the values education and guidance and counseling is very necessary to the students to lead, uh, to lead them to be a better person as a whole and then the next one is school administration or school administrators in the context of administration the importance of exercising the duties and conduct of supervisory mandates shall be observed this study will allow school administrator to reflect on the findings of this research study to implement programs and avoid compromising of the said subject through this um, research also they will be more guided on what they do in terms of personality growth and development of the students that they will apply in the future and then the next one is parents this study will give awareness to parents especially on the said subject and guidance and counseling not only gives them awareness but also offers them an option on what they do with their child in a better way and remember for this is because it is important that the 
parents are involved on their child's education. This study helps the teachers to do in a good guidance connection with the school and being a teacher or guidance counselor lets parents involved for the academic improvement of their child. And the next one is researchers. So this study gives more ideas and awareness on the problem which would help in a dealing with problems in the new, near future. So additionally, it, uh, as a researcher of this study, I should also gain new knowledge. At the same time, I learn a lot of things and it was so challenging but it was worth to do because we gladly share the fact information to others especially it will establish them a good relationship towards other people and how to be effective person as a whole through implications value of values education and guidance and counseling in a nutshell it gives more ideas new knowledge and awareness to the high school learners teachers school heads and school administrator, administrators, I mean, and parents, and also to the future researchers. So thank you for watching, guys. Now, let's proceed with the scope and delimination. So these are important parts wherein it helps us to put the research findings into context and it also explains how the study is limited and increases the credibility and validity of our research study so here in our powerpoint presentation this research study focused on the perception of the random learners from san antonio national high school on the implication of values education on guidance and counseling However, researchers envisage that they may not be able to complete the task within the first five months of the second semester, so the, which is the school year 2021 to 2022. So the researchers hope that they will be able to fully accomplish the task in the first semester of the school year 2022 to 2023. Why? So that we can clearly identify and assess the study we have conducted and to fully search on the best and most credible information that we could acquire at the possible time. Okay, proceed with the literature review. Since we all know that literature review is necessary for developing a research idea, consolidating what is already known and identifying any knowledge gaps and how our research could contribute uh, to further understanding so here um, in our literature review according to Britannica 2005 values education is concerned more about the well-being of the learners and their personalities Guidance and counseling, on the other hand, is the process of helping individuals discover and develop their educational, vocational, and psychological potentialities and thereby achieving an optimal level of personal happiness and social usefulness. So furthermore, guidance and counseling aim to help learners to achieve in their academic, personal and social development and workplace readiness or career awareness and guidance and counseling are very important especially at our crucial stage where we have to deal with many doubts struggles and problems relating to ourselves and to which path are we going to take so another another information according to mcdonald the objectives of the guidance is to assist students and teachers in making available desirable qualifications and skills rather than achieving the goals of educational programs. So, above all, ang values education, it aims to help learners 
to have a better and more harmonious life. While ang guidance and counseling, it aims to help and support learners achieve their goals and purpose. And now let's proceed to the next part, which is the theoretical framework. And we have two different theories in our research study. And the first one is the psychoanalytic theory by Sigmund Freud, which focused on human behavior and personality. In this part, I'll give a brief and comprehensive overview of psychoanalytic theory. So let's dive in into the first theory of personality, which is called the psychoanalytic theory. And it had three functions, and it is common for us now. So the first one is the id, or the unconscious source of primitive sexual dependency and aggressive impulses. Next, the superego, or the subconsciously interest of social mores. Third, the ego, which is the sense of self that mediates between realities of the moment. And this theory is considered a long-term choice it's because it involves sessions and classes which can continue to for weeks, months, or even years, which is the appropriate for implicating values for guidance and counseling to the students. Then, how does it help and support our research study? So, the psychoanalytic theory helps people, especially students, to explore their past, to understand how it affects their present on their psychological difficulties, and it also explores interpersonal relationships. According to Freud, our personality develops from the interactions among what he proposed as the three fundamental structures of human mind, which is the id, the ego, and superego. It conflicts among these three structures that our efforts will find balance among what each of them. So the word desires determines of how we behave and approach the world. Then let's continue to the second theory of our research study, which is the behavioral theory. So from the root word behavior, this theory focuses on the idea that all behaviors are learned through interactions with the an environment. And inherited factors that have very little influence on our own behavior. So example of this theory is a positive reinforcement in which a student gets a reward by displaying good behavior and following the right things to do in the class. So in the future, they will learn, they will work hard, and be more responsible in order to success. Then how does it help and support our research study? So, how does this theory support our research study? So, behaviorism or behavioral theory is the key, key for educators and counselors because it gives impacts of how students react and behave in the classroom. And it also helps teachers to understand that a student's home environment and lifestyle can be impacting, can be, can be say, as an improvement of their behavior. So, helping them see its objective at work will be will help them in their improvement and their success then let's continue to our next part which is the conceptual framework which is our visual representation as you can look in the presentation it shows the flow of our study that are expected to have relationships between the variables so this will focus on the implementations of both values education and guidance counseling on education. So this study will be used dependent variable and independent variable. For this study, the dependent variable will be the implementations on both values education and guidance counseling of selected teachers and learners in San Antonio National High School, which is based also in their good moral character in the school year of 2021 to 2022. The independent variable will be the demographic profile of selected five teachers in San Antonio National High School with their include name, years of teaching, major taken, and course in college. Then furthermore, it also shows the demographic profile of the selected 
35 students in San Antonio National High School, which include, include their names, age, and year level. And now, our research methodologies. Our research is descriptive research. It is a qualitative in nature in order for us to know the connection of values education and guidance and counseling. It would also help us to determine the implication of the said subject to the program. We also have 40 respondents, 35 learners, and 5 either teacher or counselor. So specifically, there will be 4 values educator or values educator or teachers and one counselor since there will be always one uh, counselor in every school this study is carry, uh, carried out specifically in san antonio national high school which choose san antonio national high school since it is um, a school wherein we can carry out this study effectively and accurately and it is also the nearest place or the nearest school here in our immediate vicinity and under our research methodologies we define few important terms first students performance second teachers background knowledge third effects Fourth, perception. Fifth, values. And sixth, or, an, or, the, and or the last but not the least, is implications. So that's all for our research methodologies. So here, you can see the different definition of these important terms. And lastly, our survey questionnaire. So our survey questionnaire is composed of two sets of questions. We created one, uh, one set specifically for students and another set specifically for teachers. So our survey questionnaire for students composed of um, demographic profile of learners. So we put there the name, the age, and then their year level so we could determine whether they are under they are still in junior high school or they are already in senior high school so we have here on the section two we have here four specific question first is we ask what are the specific subjects that they have taken under various education since there are many subjects that as related to values education. Some of these are ESP, personal development, religion, and maybe other schools are offering other subjects relating to values education. So we want them to specify that. And the second question, we ask if the subject is effective and transformative. So we should know first whether the subject is effective and transformative at the end of their at the end of the learners because we would not be able to determine the implication if the subject if itself is not effective and for the third question we have here do do they have any guidance counselor or if they know who is we want them to name their guidance and counselor it is because not all of the students know guidance and counselor and this would also help us determine whether the program in this specific school is effective or not or not and fourth is the program guidance and counseling effective and transformative so we need to know whether guidance and counseling program is effective at the ends of our learners and we for the third section of the first set of the questionnaire we have created a table we want them to put a check 
if they have experienced this. So this, these questions or phrases will lead us to determine what are the implications of the subjects towards they program, which is guidance and counseling. So we have here this values education as a subject helps plan and prepare for their work role during and after high school. So if, if they think it pre the subject prepares them, then they will answer yes, or if not, they will answer no. So the some of the praises are help students students with personal growth and development, help students be ready for post secondary schooling, help learners understand about themselves, to develop in in students awareness of opportunities in society through relevant and useful information, to help students develop the skills needed, to help students determine learning techniques and tools applica applicable to them, to teach how to be critical in acquiring relevant and accurate information, to help in identifying their strengths and weaknesses in order to maximize their potential, to help shape in themselves as a better learners and a better version of who they are, help underachiever students to know their strengths and deal with their weaknesses, inculcate positive values and attitudes to the learners, and lastly, to help them in achieving a wholesome personality. So the, the overall result of, it, of this table would help us to determine whether, whether or not values education as a subject has an implication to guidance and counseling, and it would also help us to determine on what extent thus various education has implication and guidance and counseling and we also have another set of questionnaires specifically for teachers so the first section of the questionnaire for teacher is their demographic profile so we ask for their name years of teaching subject taught so we need to, to know specifically if they are teaching values education or any other subjects that is related to values education. And also, course in college. We include course in college for us to, um, for us to determine whether the teacher's background knowledge is applicable to what, the, to what she or he, to what subject he or she teaching. So it is very important that they are in line. And for the second section, we ask four specific questions. First is, as a teacher, what is your goal in teaching values education? So it is very important for, to, for us to know their goal as a teacher, who is teaching values education. Because guidance and counseling have already their goal, which is to develop a wholesome personality and to prepare learners for their future so as as a teacher we should have for us to have implication and guidance and counseling we should have the same goal and next question is how do values education subject help learners so we wanted to know the perception of the teachers. Third, do you think values education has implication and guidance and counseling? So we asked this specific question to teacher. If they will say yes, this would lead to the fourth question, which is what is the extent of values education and guidance and counseling as follows. So what are the implication or what are the extent of implication of the subject to the program when it comes to um, as a learner, as a future professional, and as a citizen? So that is all our survey questionnaire. Thank you for um, listening. Let us proceed to the references. First, author's name, Abulati, A-O, 
year publication, 2000. And the title of the book, Having Knowledge of Teaching Skills, a Must for Teacher. And the journal title is The Nigerian Journal of Guidance and Counseling, 7, page 93 to 94. Next. Author's name, Kaki Nada, EA, year publication, 2002, and uh, chapter title, Concise Counseling Practicum, and the uh, book title is a Basic Text for College and Universities. And then, the edit, uh, edited by Abadan, Ulu Akin, and the publishers or the public, uh, publisher's location. And then, Akina D. E. A., the author's name, and the year publication, 2012, and the title of the book, Introduction to Modern Guidance and Counseling. And then, the publishers or and the publisher's location is Abadan Brightway Publishers. Then, author's name, Corey G. and Corey M. and S. and Kalanan P. Year Publication, 1988. And the title of the book is Issues and Ethics in the Helping Professions. And the journal title, Pacific Group. And the uh, Publishers and public publishers location is C A and Brooks School. And then author's name Igbo A C year publication 2008 and uh, title of the book Organization of Guidance and Counseling in Schools and then the publishers and the publishers location is in logo to best publishers and then name uh, author's name colo fd uh, year publication 2001 the title of the book is elements of psychological testing for counselors and psychologists and then the publishers and the publishers location is zaria Amado Bilo Corporation. And then the author's name, Laa D, year publication 2015. And uh, chapter title is an, uh, an Evaluation of Teachers Utilization in Zaria Secondary Schools. And the uh, book title is Implication for Guidance and Counseling. And then the journal. Titles Academic Research International, page 6. And then, Makinda O, author's name, and the year publication, 1980, a survey of counseling approaches, which is a chapter title. And then, the Nabuki, Nabuki E, K, Year publica publication 2012, and then the book title is Practical no, for a while. Practical Guide to Effective Teaching, and then the year uh, the public publishers, and then the publishers location is New Go Hallmark Publishers, and then next is the author's name Odo E. Year publication 2007, and the uh, title of the book Factors Inhibiting Teachers' Effectiveness. And the journal, a title of the journal is Journal of Educational Psychology, page 3, 100, uh, chapter 3, I mean, page 110 to 190. Next, author's name Odo B. Key. Year publication 2004 and the uh, 
title of the book is Counseling, Intervention, and Crisis Management as Medium of Improvement, Psychological Well-Being of the Students. And the uh, journal title, Journal of Educational Research and Evaluation, so chapter 4, page 140 to 148. And then... The author's name, Okoye, A.U., year publication, 2010. And the uh, title of the book, Counseling in the Industrial Setting, Vice a uh, vice as vice Industrial Relation. And then, publishers and uh, publishers location, Aroko Erodate uh, Publishers. Next is... The author's name, Olandi Ho, O, year publication, 2006. And the uh, title of the book is Guidance and Counseling. And uh, I mean, chapter title of the book is Guidance and Counseling. And then the journal title is a fun fac Functional Approach. And then the publishers, Lagos. And then the publishers, Location is John Ladd Publishers, LTD. Next is H.C. Gangoli and G.P. Metrotra, H. and H.D. Millinger. And uh, chop, uh, the book title is Values, Moral, Education, and Social Studies. And edited by in UNESCO Handbook for the Teaching of Social Studies. A year publication, 1981, and edited by also by Her Harward V. Millinger, and uh, publishers is Paris, and the publishers location is UNESCO, and that's all for the references. Thank you.